Good morning, guys. I thought today we would do a what I eat in a day first trimester edition. Um, in my previous pregnancy video, I had said that I was seven and a half weeks, but I actually went to the doctor and I'll get into more of that um, a little bit later next week once I do a pregnancy update, but um, pretty much I am now eight weeks one day so this will be kind of just a first trimester what i eat in a day so um right now i always start my day drinking a lot of water and then i'm going to make a coffee so this is our coffee pot and i'm gonna get a glass here Here's Henry, he's come to say hi. Say hi! What are you doing? Yeah? Okay guys, so in my coffee, I make it really simple. On the weekends, we froth our milk, but weekdays, we just kinda do whatever. I do. Probably more sugar than I should. This is a tiny spoon, so don't judge. And then I'll do my half and half. And then just some coffee. And I usually don't finish an entire cup of coffee. And for the first like three weeks of being pregnant, I didn't drink um, any coffee. But now I can. So that's what I'm starting with. All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute for breakfast. Okay, guys, so it is breakfast time. Henry's not eating anything. Sometimes that happens. And I have not taken a sip of the coffee that I made yet. But it is um, 7.10, we've been up since 6, and for breakfast I'm having some strawberries and peaches, a piece of lavender toast with strawberry jam, and then eggs with ketchup. I can only eat eggs with ketchup right now, I can't eat them without, and I'm trying to get my protein in in the morning. So, that is my breakfast, usually I have a snack in a couple of hours. Um, I start to feel nauseous again. So we are headed to the grocery store right now. Um, it's about a 15 to 20 minute drive away from our house. We're in a small town outside of a bigger town in Montana. So we are heading there now. For a snack, I'm just gonna have this Fiber One Bar. Um, we don't really have a lot of food because we were gone this weekend at Chris's parents' house a couple hours away. So we're headed there now and I'll do a grocery haul when we get home and show you guys what the plan is for lunch and dinner. And dinners this week, uh, we like to plan at least four dinners for the week, usually five. But anyways, all right guys. So I'll check back in with you later. Okay everybody, so we just got home from Albertsons and Target. And this is our big Albertsons haul, and I'll kind of go through. So we got just a bunch of things for every day. We have strawberries, bananas, watermelon, avocados. That's all kind of just for our every day. We got a lot of apples. My husband, my husband <laughs> brings one to work every day, and then I also steam a bunch for my one-year-old and put cinnamon, and he loves them. And then um, some zucchini, because he loves that, and then Carrots and cucumbers for me to eat with ranch. It's like a big craving right now. And then we got some broccoli because we're going to be doing a roast with polenta and broccoli. And I'll give you guys the recipe for that. And then we got some asparagus and some cherry tomatoes, which are right here. And that's going to be for um, a recipe tonight. It's uh, with the tortellini and the pesto. And we put chicken and we mix it all together. It's really good. Um, I got some frozen butternut squash because we're gonna do a butternut squash chili. And then I got this chicken for a couple of meals. We're gonna do some enchiladas. And yeah, I think that's it. Just some four meals. Um, I got some milk and half and half, some eggs. I got two different cheeses because Henry likes this thicker 
cheese just to eat on its own. I got sour cream. That's for the enchiladas. I'm doing white enchiladas. And then I got ham for Henry. Some waffles for Henry. Um, these are for me because I need carbs lately. And they're actually really good. They have like cinnamon in it. And um, they're just delicious and they have a lot of protein. And then I got some things for our enchilada meal right here. I got Henry a bunch of Annie's Mac. He loves it. It's one of the things we do at least once a week. Um, I got a thing of whole wheat bread and some cinnamon raisin bread. Henry loves that with um, cream cheese in the morning. He is so picky. He doesn't eat eggs anymore and he barely eats breakfast. It's so frustrating. And then I also got frozen mango because I defrost that and he loves that too. As well as like some other frozen veggies that I know he'll eat. Making it easy, people. And then I got just some iced coffee for Chris. Um, lemonade for me and Henry. Some extra coffee, raisin bran for me when I don't want to make breakfast in the morning. And some chicken broth for a couple of the recipes this week. Um, I think that's it. I mean, we had a couple of cantaloupes from a farmer's market. We had another thing of um, cherry tomatoes, which we used for the roast. And then we have the two loaves of bread here that we're going to freeze. But we also got that from just a local store called Bread Zeppelin. And that's it, guys. Oh, I also got this. Um, I'm going to eat this today for for lunch because it's so good. I've been really craving sushi and that's all I can eat. <gasps> Look who's coming. Hi. Henry is 13 months and he's not walking and he just kind of figured out how to army crawl. I, I'll do a separate video just on him because he is my, my sweetest boy, huh? All right, guys, it's lunchtime. Henry's eating his lunch over there, huh? And I'm having some leftover wonton soup. I don't really like these noodles. So I'll, yeah, so I'll probably just eat the dumplings and the broth. And then I also have a California roll because it looked so good and I've been craving sushi and this is pretty much the safest bet. So yeah, I also have some soy sauce. And I'll have some water, huh? Yeah. Okay guys, so before Henry takes a nap, I wanted to show you what I got at Target earlier. He is actually just hanging out, which is good. He's been so fussy because of teething, it's crazy. But I'm drinking a cup of ice water, ice water always. So much better than just plain like warm water. And I'm gonna eat this fortune cookie after I show you guys this stuff. So count that in. Okay, so I didn't get too many things. My husband Chris like hates when I go to Target because I always spend at least 40 to $50. Sorry. Okay, well, let me start with the, the main thing. I'm so happy I found one of these because Target had these online, but they, um, not online, but I've seen them on Instagram, but I haven't found them in store and it's in the Bullseye Playground. And so I got this for our table. It was five bucks. And then I got, Henry's crawling over here right now. And then I got um, some, I don't smell like anything, but some pine cones and some fake um, pumpkins for it. And I also got these two cute little pumpkins slash gorge slash whatever they are. And I got this um, candle in the bullseye it's called cozy blanket and it just it literally smells like oh i don't even know just like a fresh fresh blanket out of the washing machine and then i also got these these are the threshold brand and it's salt and pepper shakers which i thought were really cute that i can leave out they were only five bucks so i got them then it's gonna start to get pretty cold here um, really soon, especially at night. So I needed to get Henry some new jammy jams. Um, so I got these and they're both long sleeves. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with this little band right here. Like it reminds me of the Calvin Klein, but yeah, just some stripes and then this cute little, this cute little camping set that I loved. And then, Three more boring things. I got Henry another one of these sippy cups, the Munchkin 365, uh, 365. <laughs> the 
the Munchkin 360 cup because it's actually the only one he really likes. I've tried about 10. I don't know about you guys, but finding a sippy cup that your kid likes is so hard. That's my day, always. Um, but I don't know, he was on formula and so we had bottles, the Dr. Browns. And I can't figure out a cup that he likes to drink milk out of. Like he'll only have two bottles a day, one in the morning, one at night of milk. And other than that, he won't drink any because he doesn't like it out of any sippy cup, so whatever. I also got a little dish scrubber that you can put soap inside. And the last thing I got was some um, Three Minute Miracle Deep Conditioner. I love this one. I think it's like, I don't know, it's just cheap and it works and I use it about twice a week and that's it. So yeah, I think I spent 50 bucks on just this stuff, which is always how Target operates. You always spend so much money because everything's like three, four, five dollars and then you buy 10 things and bam. But hi, what are you doing? All right, guys, anyways, Henry is about to take a nap. I'm going to do some meal prep for his um, food this week, some apples, the sweet potato. Gross, dude. And some watermelon. And then he'll wake up from nap, and we'll probably have a snack. So I will catch you guys at snack time. Henry, can you say bye-bye? Say bye. All right, it's afternoon snack time. Henry is grumpy and I have to head out to get some blood work done. So on the way, I'm gonna be eating half a bag of these pretzel crisps. I ate the other half yesterday. Um, yeah, and then I'll be eating a string cheese and that's it. Okay, everybody. So the last thing to eat today is this pesto asparagus. Cherry tomato, onion, tortellini, pasta. We have it all the time. I use rotisserie chicken, and this will be dinner and lunch tomorrow for all of us, so. So it is about 7.15, and the day is done. We had the dinner that I showed earlier, and then I cleaned up the kitchen. I got a ton of water all over me and Henry um, went to bed. His dad put him to bed tonight. And that's it. Um, we, my husband is mowing the lawn right now. And then when he gets inside, sorry, the lighting is not gonna be very good. But when he gets inside, we're probably going to just like, hopefully sit on the couch and watch, um, I don't know, 90 Day Fiance, because that's usually what we watch or intervention and then I'm gonna make a fruit salad for both of us so right here is what I'm gonna be making I just don't have the energy to do it yet and I also don't really want to film later um, so we have like a ton of peaches that we need to eat we got half of a box at the farmers market the other day and then um, I'm gonna use up this watermelon that we just got today, you guys saw in my little grocery haul. And then I'm gonna use up these strawberries because some of them are going a little bit bad. I feel like that happens all the time that strawberries go bad so fast. But I might also try to dive into one of these little cantaloupes. So yeah, I like to just kind of binge out on fruit at night. Or if I have some chocolate, I'll have that. Um, if I get crazy, I'll have one of these. They're the Yasso or Yazo, I don't know how to say it, but they're the fudge brownie um, little bars if I need something chocolate, but that's it guys. So yeah, today what you saw is just an average day for me. Um, Mondays I have a solo day with Henry and I'm not working. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I nanny with Henry and then Friday is another solo Henry day. So. We just did a lot of running around errands. It's always our grocery day. And yeah, um, we always try to eat leftovers for lunch. So the sushi was a little bit out of the norm because we do usually eat the next day's or the previous day's dinner for lunch. So yeah, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your day. Bye guys.